Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly and I'm looking at a Ford Transit Connect here. So I've just spent some time looking over this and uh, we did clear these codes but these are the codes that I had intake air temperature sensor and invalid data received from the transmission control module uh, a few others uh, particle filter is restricted uh, mass airflow sensor against circuit issues and particle filter is restricted so we're just going to go back into a proper scan again so like I said we did clear the airflow codes the van's been on a test drive the code doesn't come back so we're just going to go in and show you a little bit of what we're looking at okay so we have the code there for the particle filter this is the only code that we've got back I'm going to go in and read the data stream now if we're looking at the intake air temperature sensor that was coming up as faulty as well that's part it should be part of the airflow meter you can see there when we accelerate the van up Everything's working exactly how it should. Um, there it is on idle. You know, the, we're getting we're getting it going up. We're getting it going down. When we accelerate up, it goes up. So the sensor seems to be working, unless there's an intermittent issue with it. But uh, I'll show you what I found here. When you get all sorts of see, we're, we had all different codes for the ECU uh, voltage and all sorts of different voltage codes which to me points at a battery so I've hooked up the battery tester here from launch BST360 so I've got it here connected to my phone you can see there the state of health of the battery is at 3% and we have internal resistance of 15 so we've got a new uh, US battery in there now and I'm just going to program in the new battery change the battery we've reprogrammed it We've got the one code there for the soot accumulation on the DPF. The only problem is, is if the airflow circuit issue comes back, his DPF will block again. Um, hopefully changing the battery has fixed that issue because when we do live data, like I said, the airflow meter is reading perfectly fine. Okay, so the DPF pressure is jumping around from sort of 48 to 25. These ones have always been like that. They've, always, they've never just had a steady rate. Um, they always jump around a little bit, so we're going to clean the DPF and uh, we'll have a look at what we can get the pressure down to. All the revs have at 3000 RPM and we are looking at sort of around about 175-180 millibars. So just down here is the pressure sensor on these. Um, I did struggle to find one of these last time I was looking at one, but it's on such a short hose doesn't give you any sort of movement on it so I don't really want to open that um, because it might cause issues so I'm just going to go through the temperature sensor right here that's just too, it's too tight to get down there to that sensor you might end up it's a plastic sensor that might end up just disintegrating so it's much safer to go through the metal temperature sensor here you can see straight away there the soot that's been coming out of there it's all sort of stuck around the sensor there okay I'm gonna use a bottle of launch DPF cleaning fluid into the gun here and we'll get that directed straight into the DPF we'll inject it in and that's connected there to a little portable compressor that I'm using so I've got this sort of attachment here on, on mine Okay, we've now got the vehicle started, so we're going to see if we can watch the uh, fluid do its do its work and get that pressure down. So we'll uh, we'll give it a few revs. And we'll hold it back up around the sort of 3000 mark. And we'll watch the pressure. Thank you. 
So that's now down to zero. Like I said before, with these 1.5s, they always act a little bit erratic. They don't hold a steady reading. It's gone from zero to sort of 14, up and down, eight, nine. Okay, so that's the readings after I've done the clean there. Um, these have dropped a little bit on their own, I think. But we're gonna reset the, the values Okay, now we're going to go in and we can clear the codes now. That's DPF uh, has been reset. Now, if we clear that code and we come back in and check it, it should should now stay away. So we start the engine up. Confirm that we've got no lights. Now we can do another code scan, and we should have no DTCs. That's it, we're now all finished on that. Exit here. No more codes. As long as he doesn't get a airflow meter code come back. Um, I would change it if we could get one today maybe, but uh, they're not in stock until we can't get one in for two days. Um, so if it comes back within that time, we can change it. But uh, now for now, it all seems good. And uh, hopefully that airflow meter code was just all related to the weak battery. That's it, we're all finished, see you in the next video.